a header. What a goal for Ricky Lambert. Ricky, we spoke after the game against Scotland and uh, now you've had a chance to reflect on what happened that night. Can you just tell us a little bit about what your memories are from the Scotland game? Um, like you said, it was a bit of a whirlwind straight afterwards. That whole week was... Uh, was uh, yeah, I was up on cloud nine. It took me a while to come to come down off it. Uh, I couldn't couldn't stop thinking about that. The, 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 obviously, the moment when I, I scored the goal. It was the best moment in my career by my life. Everything's been lead was leading up to that moment, and to to get the winner was was unbelievable. Just looking back to it, when uh, you were told that you were going on, what did you start feeling at that point? I was trying my best, like to, trying to get his attention. As I'd say, you put, come on, put me on now, put me on. But um, I was hoping to go on half time, and then he said no, t- 10, 15 minutes. So I just kept warm, waiting for the chance, and it it finally came. So I was, yeah, I was just, I was, I was ready for. It. I was eager to get on the pitch and try and try and do something, try and get a goal, try and impress. Do you think that excitement and that eagerness helped you when um, you actually did come on? Because sometimes it takes players a little bit to get into the action but straight away your movement was sharp and you got got yourself on the end of that one I knew like obviously it's it, it might have been my only chance you know what I mean I knew me I knew I might not get many chances to impress again so I knew I had to take it um, didn't quite imagine it to have happened as quick as it did with my first touch like but obviously that's what I was aiming to do I was en- I enjoyed being here with me my main thing was to try and impress. We were one of the many people wanting to speak to you after the game and there would have been loads of others. What, what did that feel like, just all of a sudden being the man of the moment? Um, if I'm being honest, it was nice. Everyone was really nice. All the interviews was, was, uh, was really nice. But I, that's not, I don't, that doesn't, um, that's not why I'm in football to do, to do the interviews. I try and stay away from as many interviews as I can, even being honest. <laughs> but like, it was um, it was just an unbelievable moment for for my family to, and obviously for them to be there as well. And I tried to get it across in the interviews afterwards. Um, thank everyone who I needed to thank, and I hopefully done that. When you got home that night and you you settled down, were you greeted as the hero back then, or 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 the the new dad, or the the, the dad again? No, I just. Uh, yeah, new dad. New dad, happy to be home and, oh, by the way, well done with England. You said as well that week that it was important for you to, you wanted to continue staying with England and continue with this experience. And to do that, you had to go back to Southampton and carry on your form from last year. And you did that straight away with a goal in the opening game. Yeah, no, it was, it was a pen. Um... And it was it was it was a massive it was a massive goal. We got we got the three points first game of the season, which is you you, you can't ask for more than that three points away to West Brom first game. So it was it was a great win, and uh, it's, it's been it's been a good start for us, I think. Uh, and now you're back with the England squad this week. It's been slightly different this time because you've had a lot longer with the with the boys. How has it been this this get together? Been really good. Obviously, I've loved it again. I've loved every minute of it. Training's been superb, um, and just obviously getting to know the lads as well a little bit more. Um, being with them more and more now, so kind of know the personalities more. Obviously, I'm like everyone else. I see them on the telly day in day out, but to actually get to know them, the the top t- top lads. So it's 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 been nice. Last time was as close to a competitive game as you can get against Scotland, but this one is actually the business. Now we need three points uh, on Friday night. Has there been anything different in the in the approach from the side? No, no. It was uh, we not? We, I think we all know the importance of the the game coming up. We, we don't need to be getting told it uh, day in day out. We as uh, as players, we 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 put our pressure on ourselves to do well and try and motivate ourselves to get the best out of ourselves. So we 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 know what's coming and um, we're ready for it. Uh, I think. Obviously, Roy's been doing setting setting us up for Moldova to to try and win that game, and uh, yeah, it's been going well. We're at home. We're we're going to be in front of our home fans, so we we, are, we obviously we fancy ourselves. So we've come off a good win against Scotland, so we're 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 confident, and we're we're especially myself. I'm, I can't wait for a Friday to begin.